Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about drawing and how to become um, a better drawer or to have, how to practice drawing things. So a lot of times my students will say to me, you know, wow, Mrs. Kimball, you're such a good drawer and how did you, how can you draw like that? And I want you to know that um, I spent a lot of time when I was a kid and all through growing up, I spent a lot of time practicing drawing. And the way that I became good at drawing was by looking at things and trying to draw what I see. So it's a really good thing to try and start doing now so that as you get older, you'll get better and better and better. And one way that we can do that is by using um, books or videos or by looking at pictures and trying to draw what we see. Because guys, to be honest, it's so hard to draw things that are in my mind. There are some artists that are really good at that, and that's a really great skill. I am an artist that needs to be able to look at something, either something actually in front of me in real life, or I need to be able to look at a picture or follow along with a video that teaches me how to draw things. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a great resource that you can use to try um, to help you with a little bit of your drawing skills. And this is gonna help you with looking and following directions and, um, and practicing some drawing skills. So let me show you this site. Okay, so I'm currently just at Google on the website and I'm gonna include a link for this on um, my video for you to click on. But I just wanted to show you if you didn't have the link, you would just want to click in art or type in artforkidshub.com. And when you get to that site, it's super cool. Um, there's this really great family who has made a million videos on pretty much any kind of drawing that you would want to do. So up here at the top, it says how to draw. And it has all these different categories of cool things to draw. And each one of these is a video on how to draw those things. So let's click on animals because I love animals. And I'm gonna choose one of these. Hmm, let's see, I really love some dogs. So let's click on dogs. And then if I scroll down here, it's going to give me all sorts of videos on how to draw different kinds of dogs. Some of them are a little bit more challenging and some of them are a little bit easier. Now the cool thing is you'll notice you see two drawings. So the drawings that you see here are the ones that um, the dad who he draws, like he does, tells you how to do it. So that's his, but also his child draws with him, which is pretty cool because then you get to see what a child Who are we drawing today, Hadley? So I'm gonna mute this so that I can talk. Um, some things I just wanna note to you about this is number one, um, he draws with marker and he does that for two reasons. Um, number one, you'll really be able to see what he's drawing because like on a video, it's hard to see pencil. Um, and number two, he practices a lot. So let me tell you that when I draw these things, I draw them with a pencil because guess what? I make mistakes and I need to erase. If I wanted to trace over my pencil lines with a marker after, I could definitely do that. But here's the cool thing about this site is check it out. Every time that he says to draw something, his child is drawing with him. And he has a bunch of kids of all different ages, so some of them are with his littlest kid, and that's fun to see too. So maybe today what you'll do is you will either try one of these videos to do, or you could also just find a picture somewhere. So when I was younger, I didn't have um, these cool drawing videos to watch and look at. So what I used to do is I used to take my movies, my most favorite movies, and I used to look at the cover because it was things like Beauty and the Beast and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Those were some of my favorite movies. And I used to try to draw the characters of that movie in my notebook or on paper. And that's how I practiced um, and how I got so good at drawing. So today what I want you to do is I want you to try looking at something. It could be a video that I just showed you from that site, or it could just be something around you at your house. And I want you to try to draw that by looking at it, okay? And see how it goes. And you know what, it might not go great at first, but we're learning and practicing. And that's the best part about being an artist is that you're always learning and practicing and getting better. So give it a try today and let me know how it goes.